All right. So, uh, oh, I'm Chris. Um, welcome to VHP Agents. Um, okay, so to make up for the lack of uploads this past week, I think I'm going to do a double feature. This is going to be short, um, but important. Um, yeah, so it was one of those things I guess I thought I would double tap on, and that is just like determining um, which exact uh, rod bolt you have. I mean, okay, so recently I got, I got a, an inbox, a DM, and I and I didn't answer because I wanted the guy to fall out of the nest, the nest, <laughs> fall out of the nest, and um, figure it out by himself because he literally had the chart in front of him. I'm like, just do a little bit of searching. You don't need to ask me, uh, okay? Uh, I, I know people are nervous. I've mentioned this a whole bunch of times. People are nervous about engine building, but you can't overthink every single little thing. Um, and I'm not going to baby step everybody through it. The videos are here. Watch them. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure that I've gone over this in the build videos, but nobody really watches them. So uh, I guess I'll make a separate one. It's not going to take much time, so my, why not? Um, that being, you know, determining rod bolt length, uh, or rod, not rod bolt length, or rod, which rod bolt you have, if you have the ARPs, even if you have the chart, because there are some that are like, oh, you know, 3 8 with this size, 3 8 with that size, 7 16 with that size. Okay, so um, the, the two things you have to determine is, is, of course, which size of the bolt you have, and it's ARP 2000, ARP uh, A740, and so on and so forth. That's on the cap screw, or the, the screw cap, so that's kind of obvious. Um, so the three eighths, five sixteenths, or whatever is the size of the you know the diameter of the bolt, and then the difference would be you know the difference between the bolts is the one point five, one point six, you know that kind of shit. One point four, I see, and one point eight. I don't know. I'm not looking at the entirety of the chart. Just a quick chart, right quick. And um, the uh, that is the length of the bolt. Now, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that UHL is under a head length or whatnot. And um, that's the difference. The difference in factor is because ARP doesn't just measure in torque; it also measures in stretch. And stretch, I guess, would you know plays a big factor in how long the fucking bolt is. Uh, so, um, if you're not going off stretch, which most of us don't, uh, okay, let me correct myself. Not most of us, but a lot of us don't. We go off just the good old-fashioned torque wrench. Then, um, then, then uh, that's what you do. You, you need to determine the length and. Uh, and the size and because conveniently the length and the size are both on the bolt head uh if i yeah well they may not be i think they are but anyway um if they're not and i don't have a set of arps in front of me to check right now i mean i'm pretty sure i'll do somewhere in this fucking heap but i'm not gonna go digging so, but that's how you determine the size and then of course you go and you match up that with whatever the fuck torque gives you and boom there's your do there's your torque so um if you haven't, if you had doubts of which torque to use, now you know. And that's a wrap for this fucking video. <laughs> that quick. All right, guys. So um, uh, you're probably gonna see this relatively soon. I guess I'm gonna upload this one before I upload the next one because it's gonna be the shorter video. Uh, if you're watching tonight and you're staying, if you're gonna stay awake or whatever, or depending on what part of the world you're in, seeing this, it might not even be that late. Um, yeah, stick around for the next one. It's gonna be a lot longer. It's gonna be the one that I promised that you guys have been waiting for. Uh, also, if by chance you're seeing this and you haven't watched the other one yet, uh, next or you're not going to watch it anytime soon, um, I will say um, because it's been a long time since I've uploaded, you know, regularly, uh, I think that YouTube kicks people's bell off. Like, you know, like you subscribe to a channel, then you click the bell for notifications. I guess if the channel doesn't uh, update frequently or if you don't watch frequently, it's going to, YouTube's algorithms are going to assume that you've lost interest in that in that channel. And maybe you don't want frequent up, uh, notices when I upload, so they're going to kick the bell off. So you only get notices every once in a while. So because I've only been uploading once or twice a month over the last four months, you know, you might have lost notifications for it. You might want to go back and check. In the meantime, I'm going to start sharing on social media when I'm uploading. So that way, for those of you that do care and have lost notifications and just haven't been checking, you know, maybe you guys will see that way. All right, guys. So thanks for watching and peace.